Meanwhile, mayors from small cities across Texas are asking the governor to reconsider how they must use their federal pandemic emergency funds. Yeah, in a letter sent to governor to the governor's office, those cities say the allocation works for larger cities like San Antonio, but smaller communities like Bernie are still left in a bind. Our Devin Clark has more on the flexibility they're hoping for. I mean, we are really happy to receive an extra funding that we can. Emergency federal funding is being made available to Texas cities because of the pandemic, but 75% of the money must go towards areas like health care, social services, and medical expenses. Dozens of mayors from smaller cities like Bernie signed a letter asking the governor to modify their spending breakdown. They say it benefits bigger cities with complex health care systems like San Antonio, but not smaller communities. We have one single emergency room. Uh, that's really tied into the San Antonio system. The other remaining 25% of the federal dollars can assist other entities, including small businesses. But for more rural communities that thrive off of the local economy, City of Bernie Communications Manager Chris Shadrock says that's not enough. It's these small businesses in a lot of these rural counties that is the lifeblood of the economy that keep that keeps things going. Maker's Place art studio owner Alicia Carrillo says she and other Bernie business owners are struggling to operate. I work with less people, of course, because we used to have uh, 24 people here. Now we have to limit the, the, the number of people. Carrillo and other local small business owners throughout small Texas communities standing behind their mayors, hoping to get what they say is crucial help they need to stay afloat. The city of Bernie received roughly $186,000 in federal monies. We reached out to the governor's office to try to figure out if smaller communities like Bernie will be able to have more flexibility with spending, but we have not received a response. Reporting in the newsroom, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.